To create a playlist, make sure that you are in the export mode. You can find the switching of the modes in the left top corner over here. Make sure that you are in the export mode because then you know that you see the same as I do on my screen. On the left side, we have a menu over here. It says collection over here and now all is selected and all tracks in my collection are displayed on the right over here. To create a playlist, go to the left side of the screen because the second option is display playlists. Click on that. I have a couple of playlists over here and probably you have none. To create a playlist, right click on the item playlists and then click on create a new playlist. Now type the name that you want to give the playlist. For example, playlist for tutorial. When you have made a mistake in that name, you can double click on the playlist to rename it. And then you can move the cursor to where you want to change it. And in my case, I type L and I press enter because enter confirms what we did. Once we have created a playlist, you probably want to add some tracks to that playlist. There are a couple of ways for that. The easiest way is to go back to collection. Then right click on the track that you want to add to that playlist and then select add to playlist in the menu over here. And then you can select one of the playlists that is on the left in the playlist option. So I say add to playlist, playlist for tutorial. And then when I go back to the playlists, then I can see over here playlist for tutorial. And now there is just one song in there. And that's the song that I just added to that playlist. But you can also drag and drop tracks in your playlist. That is maybe easier, uh, but it works a little bit complicated. Therefore, you need to open a sub browser and you can do that by clicking on this icon over here in the middle of the screen on the left side, which says display horizontal sub browser window. Click on that. And now we get a copy of the browser that we have over here. When we go to collection, because that's the first option over here, then I can see all the tracks that I have in my collection. Now I can select multiple tracks or just one track and drag and drop it over to the playlist. You can also select multiple tracks and you can do that by holding the shift key when you click on the next track. So when I want to select this track to this track, over here, then I hold the shift key on my keyboard and then I click with my left mouse button on ERA S Trefi. Now you see that multiple tracks are selected and I can drag and drop them to the playlist that I had created. In this case, there is a track already added to that playlist and Recordbox asks, okay, do I want to add that double track or do I want to skip that particular track and I say skip because I don't want to have double tracks in my playlist. And now all tracks are added to that playlist except the one that was already in that playlist. If you want to delete a playlist, you can right click with your mouse on one of your playlists and then select in the context menu, delete playlist. Then Recordbox asks, do you really want to delete that playlist? And I say, okay, now that playlist is gone. The playlist that you added is added on top of the list with all the playlists, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the case because you can reorder playlists. You can do that by also dragging and dropping playlists to a position that you like. For example, the top playlist over here is new playlisty and I can drag that for example to over here. And now it is on a new place. You can see here on the left side that I have created some folders and there are some playlists in those folders. You can create folders in folders in folders if you want, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have a better overview. To create a folder, right mouse click on playlists again and then select the option create new folder. Click on that. And now the same way that you can enter a name for a playlist, you can now enter a name for a folder. My super folder. And I hit enter again to enter that name. Now, how do I get playlists in that folder? Well, the same way as we 
ordered playlist, you can namely drag and drop playlists into that folder. So I grab this playlist with my mouse and now I drop it into my super folder. And you can see it is added to my super folder. So what is a good structure to organize your playlists? I've experimented with different methods over the year. What I found to be the most useful is creating folders for decades. So I have 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010. And then I have a playlist for each and every genre. And those are not generally the genres that are the official genre that the music is in, but that is the genre that I think is where I can find that track under. Sometimes there are trans tracks, for example, that I don't think that they are trans tracks. But if I search for a track that I don't think is a trans track, I wouldn't search for in the trans folder, for example, or the Electra House folder or the Big Room folder, for example. There is actually a special kind of playlist that maintains itself. So you don't need to look after that playlist and tracks are automatically added to that. For example, tracks within a certain BPM range or tracks of a certain genre in a b certain BPM range, for example. That is called an intelligent playlist or sometimes also called smart playlist. To create a smart playlist, right click on playlists again and then click on create new intelligent playlist. This will open a dialogue because it is automatically contained, so I can give it a name, but I also need to specify the specific conditions that the tracks in this playlist must meet. For example, I want to create a playlist uh, from 125 BPM to 130 BPM. In the first box over here, I can select which label I want to select and that can be a couple of different things album, album artist, artist, BPM, color, comments, composer, etc, etc, etc. In this case I'm going to choose BPM. I can say a BPM needs to be exactly for example 128 BPM. I can do that but I can also say the BPM must be above a certain BPM or a BPM is in the range of a certain BPM. Let's choose is in the range. And now I enter 125 because I want to add tracks that are at least 125 BPM and 2 I say 130 because tracks with 130 BPM must be also in there. I can add extra criteria to that by clicking on the plus over here because I can say it must be from a certain genre. And I say, okay, that must be equal to, and now I need to make a selection and I click on the arrows over here and it must be, for example, Electra House. And then I click, okay. Now you see on the left side, it created a playlist that says 125 to 130 BPM. And you can distinguish an intelligent playlist from a normal playlist by looking at the cog icon over here. If I want to change these conditions, I can right click again and from the contextual menu, I say edit the intelligent playlist. And now I get the same dialogue as before. And for example, I want to remove the genre. And I click OK. And you see it automatically updates all the tracks in this playlist. When I would import a new track into Recordbox and it falls within this BPM range, it is automatically added to this playlist. You can actually do something really cool with playlists. You can add shortcuts to playlist in Recordbox. These shortcuts are only available in the performance mode and those are not, for example, available when you export them to a USB drive to use in your CDJs, for example. Let's first get rid of this extra browser here on the bottom. So I click on this icon over here. And here in the middle, you see a couple of slots that says Electra House, Electra House Big Room and New Playlisty. These are shortcuts to playlists. There are four shortcuts, but you can have multiple banks with four shortcuts. You can access these banks by clicking over here because now you see the left bank is selected. I can also select the middle bank and you see it is automatically wiped clean. And I can also select the third bank over here. 
Now, if you don't see these banks displayed over here and do not see these playlists over here, you need to enable the playlist palette with this button here on the right. When I click on that, now it is enabled, so it is blue, but now it's disabled and now it's gone. To enable it again, I click on this button again, now it's blue and now you can see it is over here. By default, it says blank list, blank list, untitled playlist, a blank list. This is because I haven't added any playlists to these shortcuts. How can I do that? Just by dragging and dropping a playlist in one of these banks, for example, the Electro House playlist. And when I click on this slot, you can see that the Electro, Play House, the Electro House playlist is shown. I can do the same thing for Big Room, for example. And when I click on Big Room, I can see all the tracks in the Big Room playlist. Now, where the real power of the playlist palette comes in is when you can open them all together at once. Because when you click on this button over here, it will open all the playlists that you have in your playlist palette. I have here the Electro House playlist and I have here the Big Room playlist. So on top of your track list, you have, can open multiple playlists at once and that for multiple banks. More Recordbox tutorials you can find in this playlist over here. And don't forget to subscribe to my free DJ Tips emails. The link is in the description and I'll throw in a free ebook to start of your DJ career.